Hello everyone, finally we have the arrival of Superman 78 issue 6. This is the climatic conclusion to the Superman 78 miniseries and so far it's been quite an enjoyable series I would say. In many ways it's a throwback to the Richard Donner, Richard Lester era of the Christopher Reeve Superman films. And not only do we see the likeness of Jimmy Olsen, Lex, Perry White, Lois, and Clark Kent slash Superman, we also get the certain vibe and tone that those films had. More specifically, the first two Richard Donner films. It's not as cheesy and campy as the Richard Lester films. But I have to say, with this issue, going with my main nitpick, I feel like issues four and five should have been one conclusion. I really do. I feel like they're a little underwhelming as single issues compared to the first four issues of this miniseries. I feel like they had a lot more information in the first four. And the last one was a setup and this was a conclusion to that. But it was still an action-packed conclusion with stakes, twists and turns, and ultimately we got to see Superman finally go mano a mano with Brainiac. And it was glorious. Say what you will, this was a pretty simple story and with the current time and the certain complexities of modern Superman tales, it was nice having a good old fashioned Superman story that not only harkened back to the Donner films but stayed true to the golden and silver age era of Superman comics. It stayed true to the roots of the character while also bringing a certain modernization to it with Brainiac. I love that we got to see Christopher Reeve's Superman finally duke it out with Brainiac. He never fought Brainiac in the movie, so that was kind of cool seeing that. And the twist with the bottle city of Kandor and all these bottled cities, but the twist of Jor-El and Laura-El being alive, his parents, that was a shocking twist that really changes things. I don't know if this is going to go into the Flash movie coming up, who knows, I was kind of hoping there'd be a crossover between 78 and 89, but that's okay. 78 stands on its own, much like Batman 66 before it. This has so many great Superman moments. The iconography of the films were there, and above all, he was there to save the day. This series stands for truth, justice, and the American way, and I have to say, I would give this issue probably about a 4.5 out of 5, only because it was kind of short. And I felt like the last issue and this issue should have been combined, but I would have to say for any fans of the Donner films and Christopher Reeve's Superman, this was a great conclusion issue and I'd highly recommend either buying the separate comic issues for Superman 78 or getting it later in a trade back format. Seriously, as a fan of Superman and as a fan of films and Richard Donner, you're gonna love this series. I also like how Lex kind of went into obscurity, you know, like nobody knows where he exactly went. Superman Returns could still very easily fit into this timeline, as well as the other films of Superman 3 and Superman 4 The Quest for Peace. So I like how they added to it, but didn't exactly erase anything. It has its own little place in the Superman uh, Donnerverse, so to speak. So yeah, I would highly recommend reading it. Uh, but for anyone out there, have you read Superman 78? Let me know your thoughts on the conclusion to the series and let me know your thoughts overall on the series. Uh, as a fan, I liked it for what it was and it was a nice little mini series, especially during the past couple of months. It was kind of cool seeing like an old fashioned Superman back. I love all the Supermans. I love all the incarnations. I have very different ones, but this brought it back to the good old days, so to speak. Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and you can also check out these other videos coming up for more content. May everyone stay safe and healthy out there during this pandemic. God bless and may you stand for truth, justice, and the American way.